Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Oh, dude. Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. I was expecting his hand to get cut off. Search the top floor. Alright. Um, wait. Is the top floor open now? Now the top floor is open. Uh, okay. I guess we're going with that then. And there's not even a symbol of a... There's no semblance of a gate at all right there. That's awesome. I think I'd almost prefer an invisible wall. It really bothers the fuck out of me how grainy their hair is and stuff. Because, again, it's my rig. It's my problem. Just saying, I'm lagging behind. All right. We got a key. It's an old timey key. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. What's this? Long Island. <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Lounge Isle. Isle. I say. Uh, okay, that is the strange. Long Island Auction House. Invoice Augustine Lieber. Garant Manor. Lot 106, description, 8mm film, 1, priced at $10,000, and $10,120.20, 10, total tax, $2,024. Huh, that's strange. 20, well, 20% 20 sales tax? Where the fuck do you go that you have a 20% sales tax? Um, Long Island, I guess. Movie Review Murder Mill. Reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires fan festival by your correspondent, Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful composition. The cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have, more or less, become par for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10pm audience from the first frame, and I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that the, that evening was palpable and unlike anything I'd ever experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully cut short though, as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind of on the part of the filmmakers, and I'm not sure how that would even happen, but I'd have to imagine anyone with the mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Hmm. Everybody's a critic. All right, Murder Mill exerts a violent effect on those who watch it. They said as much earlier. Friendship bound in blood, the Legion. Are these all different, like, I mean, they must be different killers in the game Dead by Daylight. I only really recognized like one or two of them. I'm not saying I'm a veteran of that game, but 
Alright, I guess since we got a key, let's go back downstairs then. Mm. Aha! Old timey key, old timey mm. lock. Something's missing. Is it? Where the hell is that guy? Find the missing piece of the diorama. Diorama. I'm saying it like diarrhea. This guy? Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Huh. Oh, well, the shadow's glitching. Love that. You're coming with me, buddy. Oh, now I'm taking this? Well, thank God I decided to come down and look at something I've already seen before. Okay. Use it. Place it. Ah, there we go. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. It probably is. Alright, little One dude. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Oh god, it's okay, a spider. Time to unlock that gate. There we go. What oh. prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even wanna know? We don't have to set this to anything? Oh, Maybe it's okay. It's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Hmm. Or heads and heads. And heads. Hmm, okay, so we've got a killer, a house, and a skull. Okay, and then here we've got. I don't even know what that is. A spider. There's. Well. Oh. What'd you say, bitch? God damn it. A tree. Okay, we got a tree, spider, and this thing. Then we got a smiley face, a hammer, and a jack in the box. Don't know what any of those have in common. There's gotta be something that tells it here. There isn't a way to like go back and hear or read transcripts, right? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm glad we all have plenty of time to open this thing up before that killer gets into the building. Huh. No idea why, but I just... That was not so bad. I don't, I don't understand how I solved it. I just, I really kind of just guessed. I, I don't know why I like, I chose the hammer because it was something that we recently found. Um, I think the second one was the tree and the first one was the house. The tree was also a piece that we found and I don't, I don't know anything about the house. I guess the house maybe represents the cabinet that we unlocked. Or it's the mansion that we're in. I don't I don't know, dude. I don't know. I guessed. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Now we're playing as Linda. Explore the reliquary to learn more about Augustine Lieber. Oh, it's over here. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly for sure. Victor's soldier. She told me they must die, that it must be violent to open the gates. Okay. Hey, Linda. Check this out. In a second. Why is this table glowing blue? Uh, okay. So that'll take us on to the next part. There's Frank's... Is that... Dried blood? Yeah, dude. That's where fucking Frank got shot right through the eye. 
Okay, alright, no, you can look at it. It's fine. I am, uh, speaking from the Trade Winds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or, I don't know. All, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Jesus Christ. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place. And several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion. That was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my. Oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line has been broken. I, I can't see anything. I, oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Holy shit. That would be absolutely terrifying. The rumors are true about Murder Mill inciting violent rage in audiences. So what are those? What are those that are coming up? Are they... They're not artifacts, right? Are they? Yeah, I guess they are. So there's... I mean... Four more that we'd have to find? So this was the only fate for Linda. Or is it... Yeah, okay, it won't show us ahead of time. Yeah, we got, we, we got the drink. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll stop holding it up now. I've just been going through all this and... Uh, kind of hoping for a little bit more. Before it's all said and done. This whole place is like a film set. Arcadian Demon. Mesopotamia, 23rd century BCE. Statue from the Arcadian Empire. Uniform on fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby suggest it represents a mythological demon. Worshippers believed it capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Well, that's creepy. Augustine has an interest in representations of godlike destructive forces. Anything else before I talk to that asshole? Oh, jeez. Well, that's cheery. That is terrifying, dude. That's some shit like a six-year-old would draw in a horror movie. The Fold of Fear? Oh my god, dude. That looks like a movie I would watch, that's for sure. Wait. I opened it. I... Hold on. Okay. Uh, chapter 28, Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago, but st the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatriz could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed, now with the air so full of driving rain, as well as the cackling of crows cutting across each other, quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. Their cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least she couldn't hear the squelching the slithering, the screaming. Yet still, she pushed on into the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop, not now. Not when she had no clue where that thing might be. The thing that Stamper had called conjured, created. Not when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backwards into stones, sliding down into shallow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry. The sharp, metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for her bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase, but her grasping fingers meant only what it felt like sinew. Sinnoh. Sinnoh, I don't know. And spines and sludge. 
For all of the tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could just about see Draney's form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from and the gore of her friends. The clouds closed above, the rain beginning to drum once more. A knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distant, dying half-light as its body moved to strike. And that is as far as it will let me read. I want to see the back. Wait, I want to see the back. Pick it up. Pick it up, you bitch. A fiction book to this world may be a dark reality and another. By Justine Joffrey. It is the 1960s and America is in crisis. Eager to escape the era's political turbulence, a band of idealists start building a new society under the guidance of their charismatic leader. Before long, their, number, their numbers swell with hundreds leaving their hardships behind to join the fold. But making a perfect world demands more than affirming mantras and a positive mindset. Soon the personal troubles of the flock start to poison their paradise. And then things take a real turn for the worst. No, I didn't mean to. Damn it. Put that shit down. All right, man, what have you got for me? These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. He's never huh. seen it. There is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, mm. look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... Kind of guy. Like, crowd Could have just said action. Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> she hasn't had sex in a long time, brother, so. <laughs> um can offer you my friendship. A wager? Yeah, I don't want to be this guy's friend. I want to see what she says about this. Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. Didn't we already That's give official. it to you Lieber? You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Flip? Sure, but I get to call it. Well, I call it or no deal. All right. Damn. What's it gonna be? All right. Heads or fucking tails? What do you What do you do when you choose this this sort of thing? Why is Hey, dude, your watch is broken. It's stuck on ten oh nine. You You literally have the watch emoji on your fucking wrist. Um. All right. Uh, what do you do in a in a um? This fucking controller is just vibrating off of the charts. I don't know if you can hear it in my hand, but it it is. Uh, what do you do? And I'm asking you personally, the watcher, what do you do when you when somebody calls heads or tails? Do you have a favorite? Traditionally, I like choosing heads, but it does change things a little bit. I don't know why. It's a bit superstitious. It changes it for me when they catch it and they flip it on top of the other hand. I feel like that changes. I mean, obviously, it changes from a, you know, a traditional. I just um, I don't know the statistics. I assume it's a 50-50, like, I don't know if anybody's ever done a study of an actual co oh, well, I'm just repeating the the frame, um, I don't know if anybody's ever done, like, a 50-50, or a, a study on, like, whether, whether coin tosses are, are actually 50-50, but I traditionally like to go with heads, unless, in this particular instance, where it's been flipped on the hand, it's a fucking video game, I understand that, but I think I'm gonna go with the old saying, tails never fails. Tails. 
Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> I believe we had a deal. Oh, man. There's not really much to tell. I wanted a bet from a real down on his luck guy. What? Now he's dead. So, he's not exactly missing it. He's dead? Who was he? A guy called Robbie G. That's how I knew him. Robert Green? Sounds right. Holy shit. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Poor Robert. What happened to him? From what I gathered, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. Never shut up about how much his dad fucked up his life. Anyways, there you go. His dad screwed up his life. What? Thought they had a good relationship. Oh, god damn. I, I got actually super pumped about that. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I thought this that was a gun for a second. No. There's no way. It can't be. It's hey, broken Linda. Super 8 camera. It can't be. That was... You should really come see. Do you think... Oh my god, all the stutter's ridiculous. Did Chris make what it out? What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Emblemata. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. It said wear, not bear. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Oh, here comes the maintenance guy from the fucking yard, ready to kill us all. Is that... Damn! What the fuck? That's Sheriff Green, isn't it? Sheriff Green? What the fuck is he doing here? Did he steal- did- did the other guy steal the fucking film piece? A perilous place, Cedar Steel Mill. Back in 1980. Think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew? It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he- he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. Well, he's, he's dead now. He's gotta get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie. It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh, cold. Yeah, I got something for that. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. Pocket warmer. How old are these kids? You know. Um. Do. Uh, do I even really have anything to say about this? <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I never had my first drink until I was 21 if I was going by off of how I would, you know, as a ki as a kid in, in college, I guess I would have been I would have I would have said no, um, but I never cared when other people did. I don't know. Like, wait a minute. Linda's character. <gasps> wait a fucking second. Wait a second. I am. Linda's character in the future said she never had a drink in her life and she wasn't about to start now. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. So why would it give me the option? I'm... I'm... Hmm... I'm curious. There's got to be, it, like, number one, I'm going to be pissed if it doesn't matter what choice I choose. Even something as small as this, like, obviously doesn't affect what is the overall outcome of the game. But 
if there's just if I reach for it and then somebody comes walking out and and you know stops something from happening, that'd be really fucking lame. Um, I guess appreciative will increase the bond between Linda and Bonnie, but yeah, I I guess I'm reading so much into just a single choice about whether or not to have a fucking drink. I am curious about what is going to happen if I say yes, because specifically Linda said in the future that she's never had a drink before. So I want to see what happens. Okay, sure. Thanks. It's gone. <laughs> oh, well, would you look at that? There's not even a fucking... <sighs> Anything to Oops. take from. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Ah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret unrequited reason why you might want to stick around hmm and how's that any of your business bonnie rivera <laughs> look if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer it's freshly squeezed gossip why do you hate cedar hill so much it used to be like town mascot Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the Earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. It sounded so robotic. But oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool. Don't shit where you eat. Once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. Well, what else were they going to do? Move with you? You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Damn, Linda, when did you get... <laughs> All of a sudden, those overalls were... Complimenting. All right. Second, my mom comes home, it's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, ma'ams. I'm still not sure I. I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. God. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. Okay. Spoken like what a true New Yorker. Mm, same thing I always do make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, it looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one, then. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move this thing now. Because suddenly the part is here. All right, let's grab it. 
Bl blighted rat. Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Okay. Alright, let's go, Shardy. Hey! Guys? Hello? Hey, where'd everybody go? Another one up there. Did we already know that? I think we already knew that. What the fuck? Why is there a key on this now? Or a lock? What the hell? I don't like that Bonnie's hanging so far behind. In the machine shop. Oh no. Jaime. Bonnie. Jaime. Yeah, well, I would sure no, hope no, no, not. No, 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 no. Oh, how could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? I don't, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. My baby brother. Bonnie, I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. We don't know what happened. What about the camera? Flies are already gathered away. around him. Maybe. How yeah. long have they been outside? Maybe. We should find Chris and Robert. Uh, no, I don't want to leave Hyman. Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. That would be tough, though. <coughs> My God. Yeah, go ahead and use that. Oh shit, can you only see it through that? Run! 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 Just go! Holy shit. No! Don't go that way! What? Why? Uh Okay, what am I doing here? Reload. Damn. Ordered off the killer with the 8mm camera. The fuck? Why would Augustine give us a tool I gotta find a way to fight him? Escape the wagon shed. Now I can just bring it up at any time. Okay, well, let's get the fuck out of here then. Lower the scissor lift. Jesus. Hello? Okay, there's nobody there. How do I... Of course. Gotta turn on a generator. Now we're getting real dead by daylighty. If I can get up there. That's my way out. Alright, let's do this. Even the way that she's running reminds me of the characters in Dead by Daylight. I can't see shit in here. Oh, there's the generator. Alright. Let me look around for a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? So I'm guessing once we fix the generator, he's gonna pop up behind us and then we run through this way. Alright, can't fail any of these skill checks or else I'm gonna have to fight him. Ah. Maybe I'm gonna have to anyway. Yep, this is the game. Telling me how it works. Come on. 
All right. Find parts? What the fuck, dude? Here it is. Right? Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. Wait. Is he gonna... No? Alright, well, never mind then. Come on. Got it. Okay, let's go. Lower the shit. Oh god. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know why it looked up like that, but it did. Stop! Jesus. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. I can hear it. Is this still here? Oh god. No! Stop it! Okay, Jesus Christ. Can you lower? That- there's a- a scissor lift is not that slow, I swear to god. Fuck! No! It's coming! Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Jesus Christ. Uh, over here. Oh my god, get up. Ugh. Oh, quick time events. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no? No? All right. Never mind okay. then. How do you know that? I need to find Bonnie. <gasps> Fate change, you escape from Frank Stone. Can I die if I do this? What? Uh. Okay, come on. Just give me this thing. Diamond cufflinks. She's said to have faith in her, but I feel the pain of what I must do. I wonder if these are all quotes from Frank. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to 2024, Mystery Manor. Miss Castle. Uh, yeah, very shocked. What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? <clears throat> hey, slow down. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's gonna spell the end of this world. 
or maybe even every other. Mm. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. Okay, buddy. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I, no. No, I'm sorry. Holy shit, wait a minute. <sighs> wait a minute. Pause. <laughs> if Linda had died to that thing back in the... It back in the steel mill. How did? Hmm. That's kind of interesting. If the, we've we've looked at different pieces of you know, are these two separate realities? Obviously, they're different times. 1980, 2024. But are they different realities in themselves? Are they basically? Are, huh. Very interesting. What if what if we happen upon like Chris because she got sucked through that door and she's still the same age and she sees these guys? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see what they do. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. Do we? I thought we all put We've them all together. Got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down, right? We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. How the fuck did you get in here, dude? Our cards right. We might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's... It's pure, malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Huh. I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? Hmm. Stan told me he won the film strip in an honest wager, and he said that Robert was in such bad shape because of... Because of because what? Of, because of you. That's... That's bull. And you know it. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this! I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? You can, I don't really Why care. Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. Is he sitting backwards on a couch? But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. But not even on the couch? Yeah, what is... <laughs> ah, this game, dude. Huh? Was this locked before? Uh, okay, dude. Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Investigate. The Where'd he go? The television. 
Why is this here? Whoa, dude. That's the shop. And we turned it on and it was a view of this fucking... Of this hallway. I'm starting to think it's separate realities, man. Keep looking for Stan. Whoa. Oh, this is proper fucking creepy now. I hate the stutters, though. Hmm. Stan! You want a bathroom break or something? Whoa. Wait, what? What is it? Yeah. Locked. Figured. I'm not gonna go by yanking on every door that I see. Uh... Hello? Creepy again, thank you. The ambiance is creepy as hell. Like, shaking lights and the music. Dan! Uh... What's all this, then? Oh god. The occult. Just what I need. Oh. I think those are spider legs. Augustine is devoted to a godlike entity. A giant spider in the sky. Oh my god, this is... Stressing me out! I hate the stutter so much. What the heck is this place? I would... What the f... Oh my god, it's Chris, Whoa. dude. Is someone actually in there? Who's in there? Looks like some sort of pattern. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh I really need to shut this thing down. Yep, give me a fucking second. It's like something from a sci-fi flick. What is that supposed to mean to me? Oh, so the top layer doesn't... doesn't move at all. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. I think. Deactivate the rings? Hold, Hold on. on. Just another one of the fucking boxes. I'm not gonna look at that right now. They always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. Really? You thought You thought that? Something like this? I mean, honestly, wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Bezos did. That's one. Okay, and then it's another. Now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Wow, this is the most elaborate puzzle I've ever seen in my life. So now I have to do the puzzle again and then shut down another ring and then. Once more. All right. Uh, okay. Oh wow, that worked. Just hang in there. What are you I'm, talking I'm about? Get you out. Hi, May. You saw him die, Chris. Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned on-off switch? Yeah, the script is not great. Oh, 
Holy shit. All right, I guess we're gonna pull it. There's no option to do anything else, so. There she is. From a different timeline. Meanwhile, in Cedar Hills, Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980. So it says me. It said meanwhile specifically. So yeah, that's all about confirmation. It's not separate points in time, but different timelines themselves. Are you all right? <gasps> Holy shit! Whoa! Fuck you, What's wrong, bitch! Young man. Uh. Nothing. I uh, kill her. Let me help you. Punch her in her I'm fucking fine. weak ass jaw. It's nothing. But you look as if something. I'm just looking for my dad, uh, the sheriff. The sheriff. Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh well, uh, yes. Uh, you dumb where? old bitch, dude! I swear to God, it's slapper. Here and there, now and then. Oh, he uh, so, so disrespectful. <laughs> Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a lifetime. <laughs> oh, uh, using that fucking- using Stan's <laughs> sure. fucking- Okay, thanks. <laughs> saying, holy Pleasure shit. Pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Uh... Does he not patrol the mill? Why don't you try looking around the mill, dude? Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Lots and lots of money. So oh, freedom. Hmm. We'll, we'll do this. Sorry, Sheriff. I think you still owe me some answers. <laughs> and how's that? You're acting like a lunatic. Sneaking around? Attacking people? That's not the Sam Green I know. Yeah. People change over time. The only time I ever saw you even close to this intense was when you caught Chris and Jaime and me at the mill. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm being fucking uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Thought I was being too hard on you at the time. Oh, never mind. Never mind. But no, he actually did the now, first time. I'm glad I broke your camera. Yeah, well, we bought another one. But you never broke our camera. Well, what? Of course I. What? 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 You're what? Not okay, are you? No, he's okay. I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. Dude, this is this is good shit. I like this shit. I, dude, there. Okay, this is somewhat of a good story. The gameplay is still super whack, but this is turning into a good story. I don't like how long it took to get here, but this is this is getting good. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills and what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you I don't count years anymore. Oh, Jesus, come on, Sam. You haven't been straight with me since the second you got here. I hate to break it to you, but that's all I've been. Hmm. Oh, that one's got a flickering. They're all flickering now. All right, sorry, Sam. Whoa. What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Yo. Uh, 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 
Find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are they're folding in again and it's uh, uh Dude, what the fuck? What's going on? Uh 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 Holy shit. It's just a gun. Uh, I guess. Damn it. I should have kept it. He does not look like he's doing well enough to fucking... Son of a bitch. Take it easy. He does not seem well equipped to be holding a gun. You don't seem okay. I should have taken it. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? <sighs> All right. I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. All right. I mean, us as the viewer, we know something's not good. Sam? Sam? What the fuck is going Sam? on? Sam? Sam? I can't fucking see anything. Sam! I'm sorry, what the hell? Are we back in the fucking mill? What is this? Oh, this is... This is all the different films. This is... It's a film archive. Certainly something. The Murder Mill t-shirts? Murder Mine? There's a whole other alternate version of Murder Mill. Augustine Lieber is collecting different pieces of... Of the same Theater movie? Carnage blamed on Sick Flick. A screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait. 1984. Never happened. What is this? A recent outbreak of mass violence and pandemonium in movie theaters across the country has been blamed on a low budget horror picture with its roots right here in Cedar Hills. The latest copycat incident in Sacramento occurred last night with a screening of the film Murder Mill triggering a mass brawl that left 13 injured and three critically you know, tra trailing off. Uh, Murder Mill was shot at the defunct Cedar Still Mill and has been afforded an, a national release in an effort, detractors claim, to cash in on the notoriety of the site where serial killer Frank Stone committed his crimes more than 20 years ago. Since the release, however, there have been repeated episodes of violence at screenings, with Sacramento just the latest in an increasingly long line. And then it trails off. Or anything, huh? What's that? What the? F oh, that's the. That's the gag. The uh, Augustine is a collection of props slightly different to those used in Murder Mill. How is this one different though? I don't get it. It's it's a severed arm, with a blood pump. It is so fucking dark in here. I apologize if you can't see anything because neither can I. Lamp. What's this lamp about? The lamp doesn't seem to be from this time and place. Is that back? It, it's from the Cedar Hills shop back in 1980. There's Bonnie. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was huh. This, this isn't right. Whoa. That is fucking terrifying, dude. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, I mean, I didn't jump, but like, shot. oh, I got so Oh, God. I hate that. Collected all murder mill artifacts. Damn it, I read the fucking... 
I read the achievement, not what the actual thing said. Oh, this, this music is downright fucking terrifying. Murder mill, murder mill. Murder mine? Is she even from this time period? Like, is this her reality? Because it said she was a director for Murder Mill when she wasn't. Or was that poster from a different time? How many of these films are... Are they all Murder Mill? They're all Murder Mill. Holy shit. Uh, hey! Hey! Relax. <sighs> Have you seen all this? What do you mean? Have you seen what Augustine's been doing? Something's wrong. Like, very, very wrong. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no... Gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. Is that a saying? A, no gold watch? God, you're so full of it. Or does he just really want a gold I'm not watch? A kid anymore. <laughs> and you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me. Fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old. I knew old. it, dude. I was You're just going to ask that, man. I was just going to ask sense? that. He's not from this time. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not my You're not Sam the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? Whoa! This shit is getting crazy, bro. Damn! Oh, I like this. I love this shit, dude.